champion falls also. He laid down the king nine, and Phil Helmuth has the same hand to king nine. He's got the short stack at this table, too. He's in six chip position now with just about a million in chips. And here he goes. He's going to fire 260,000 in the pot right here, looks like. Going to play it fast. Now right behind him, though, Phil Ivey with ace-10 and the button. Well, Ivey in position, has more chips, and has the best hand. But still, if you're sitting in Ivey's seat, you just can't imagine how much going to make a move in this spot without a hand. Yes, An ace-10 is not a bad hand, but when a guy raises in front of you who's on a short stack... You're not crazy about an ace-10, especially after you got burned by an ace-9 and an ace-queen already at this final table. And Ivy does lay it down. And now, Woody Moore. The small blind folds an eight-deuce, the only one to beat is Scott Montgomery. He's got a queen-deuce of diamonds, the chip leader, but he goes away. So Helmuth, aggressive play, wins that pot for him. Yeah, and a little bit of steam, perhaps. From the last hand, made him push right there. All week long, the WBT's Kimberly Lansing has been following the tournament action. And right now, she's standing by with Layla. What has been going on? Well, first off, I think it's pretty amazing that we have two of the game's best players in the world with us tonight. The two Phils, of course. When we got down to seven players, they went at it. Phil Helmuth almost went from being the trip leader to bubbling the final table when his ace king ran into Ivy's pocket aces. Of course, we saw a couple little blow-ups, which were very fun to watch, but he was able to gain the composure and the chips to make it here tonight. Well, thank you so much. As usual, it's great having you thank on, you so and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. It's always nice to hear from Kimberly. She does a great job covering the early rounds of the tournament online. Yes, she does. And for those of you at home who haven't seen them, you can find Kimberly's reports online at WPT on GSN.com. Action's got to be on Helmuth. Uh, the one thing the Phils don't have is a WPT title on their resume. They're trying to do that tonight and fulfill that blank. But so far, it's not going well for either one of them. Okay. And they both go out, and now it's on Woody Moore. 250. Woody in what's known as the cutoff position, one in front of the button. He's going to raise it, make it 250,000 to go with the 10-8 of clubs. Uh -huh. Scott Montgomery behind him with 9-7, folds his hand. And now the restaurant man, the noodle guy, Quindo, with a Queen Jack. Quinn's got 50,000 invested so far. Going to cost him another 200,000 to make the call, but he opts to lay it down. And Nam Lee now with 9-10. Tom's got 100,000 invested in the pot. Going to cost him another 150,000 to make the call. Well, Nomley recognizing he's getting good pot odds in this situation. Over three to one odds on his money. Nomley, a WPT champion. Great player out of Los Angeles. So he's getting a good price to make this call, and he opts to make it. So Nom with the 10-9, Woody with the 10-8. Here comes the flop. The flop comes king at 5-4 with two diamonds. No help to either player. Actions on Nomley. And look at this fence. He is reaching for chips here. 140. Oh, He's going to bet 140,000 on a stone bluff. And without hesitation, Woody says, I raise. Woody Moore coming right over the top immediately with just a 10 8. He understands that if this guy had a king in his hand or a flush draw, he would get check raised in this situation. Just can't believe this guy would have that good a hand and lead out and bet. So Woody's going to come over the top to test the water, as we say. Mr. Luau tasting the suckling pig right here, coming over the top, and it's going to work. Well, Nam Lee lays his hand.